Welcome to my channel. This setup I'm going to use to trade. I call it E plus E setup. I'll teach you guys on how to use it. So that's what I'm going to use to analyze this market. So, but before I do that, the link to my Telegram channel is below, guys. Click on the link and join my Telegram channel. Let's refer it together. And if your the broker you are using is not okay, you can use the broker I'm using. I'm using SNS broker. The broker is okay, it's good. Or if you are not in forex trading and you are looking for a broker, it's good. So the link to the the link to the broker is below. Click on the link and send over the broker. And if you want me to mentor you. The link, my web, the link to my website is below. Click on the link and sign up for my mentorship program, guys. So let's go into this analysis and let me teach you guys on how to use this strategy. So this is a monthly time frame. Good is an uptrend here. So I mapped out this engulfing, bullish engulfing here and weekly still in uptrend and we also mark out this engulfing and there's another engulfing here and daily gold is in uptrend as well four hours still in uptrend so gold is in uptrend pure uptrend now in one hour time frame it's still uptrend but there is engulfing here bearish engulfing and this bearish engulfing already played out that seven pips i will explain to you guys so let's get into it and it has not Again, there is engulfing there, but it has not done change of character and it has not taken out this trend line. The trend line is still an uptrend. Okay, let me not talk. Let me there is different about trend. Line. There are three ways you can draw trend line, and okay, I'll come back to it later. I'll teach you guys some three ways you can draw trend line or how you can use it and how you can use it to spot. As when well market change trend, so let I'll come back to it later, guys. So let's focus on this E plus E. So there is bearish engulfing here. So this is the first engulfing here. Let me draw this for you guys. So it's E plus E set up e plus e set up so this first e this first e we find it on h four time frame or h1 time frame or daily time frame or weekly or any one that you can find it or weekly time frame time frame you get so that's where you can find the first e then the second e you are going to look for it on m 30 time frame m 15 time frame or m5 time frame so first find bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing on a smaller time frame on a, on a bigger time frame then go down to the smaller time frame and look whether you can still see bearish engulfing there if you can spot this engulfing in bigger time frame and lower time frame the e plus e setup is complete then mark out your zones and wait for market to come back for it to sell so look at what happened here this is the first engulfing then go down to 30 minutes engulfing time frame and there is another engulfing here making it complete 
the market have already come back to this zone and we'll be selling it here and they have already dropped like uh 40 pips so also you have it in mind that you are scalping this good because it's an uptrend so whatever you are doing here is a scalping so you don't have to hold it for long so medicine give you like 30 pips you should close or 40 pips you close because you know that this is in pure uptrend and it might reject and take it and again there is a support level here that you should, you should also pay attention to when it's dropping because there is a bullish engulfing here so definitely it might it's going to respect it because this goes is an uptrend so here should be the place we close this market and or if you enter different layers, close some here, then the rest move your stops to your entry point and wait. If it didn't come back, good. If you come back, you take it out on zero zero. But the one that I have closed you have made something for me to already. So um ACR session on Monday. So this is what I'm expecting this week to do. I'm expecting because the popular say that whatever goes on comes down. So I'm expecting that if gold is going to continue selling from next week, this is what will happen from on Monday. It will come back to this zone then drop and take out this zone then respect then come back to this zone there is another zone here that i will be looking to buy good on monday this is the zone i will be looking to buy good on monday because i'm not going to scalp this what i'm looking for is to buy this zone. i'm looking to buy good on monday so this good is going to continue selling it's going to do this break here retest then break here then it's going to break here then we test then come to this zone and if this zone didn't respect it's going to still break it then we test keep going down this is how it's going to move on monday it's going to take out all this support and keep respect and keep going down but if it's going to respect then this is what will happen from this level it will get to this so this is what i think that is going to happen if it's going to respect then if you drop from here to here i will look for a buy here and expect it to take out this high or you can also do this good might choose to range from here to here from here to here from here to here and take out this high then come back to it then keep moving up so if you come back to it here will be our entry point for buy if you break this resistance because so this is what i will be expecting to buy from here if you take out this resistance come back I'll buy from here but if you choose to come to respect this engulfing because this is four hours engulfing and this is 30 minutes engulfing so there is a plus e setup here already so that's what i'm telling that that's what i'm saying telling again that i'm going to look to look look to buy good from here on monday then hoping that you check out this side or if you if we break this low this resistance then retest come back to this i'll be looking to buy from here hoping that it will take out this side but if this particular level didn't respect and it fell and this one fell then i'll focus on selling i'll forget about the buy so this is what i might do if this particular zone fell just know that if i buy here and defer so this is what might happen it will break then come back to respect this i will sell it here to target somewhere here this is what will happen because whatever makes it to break here then you can see that it has done it it has done change of character on this 30 minute time frame so it will respect this and come back to this then coming back to this it might break or it might break here and come back and keep continuing so this is all the scenario so 
if we break this support, then support have turned to resistance. I will sell it here to target here and selling it that place to here. At least you are like 140 pips. This is 30 minute time frame. Then when it gets here, you need to close or close some positions and leave some on. So if you break, then do the, the, some position that you left on, you make more money. And if you choose to go up, it will, those positions that you left, you take out on zero zero, and you are going to take a buy here as well. Because this is a support. So this is how this look on. Smaller time frame right now. This is 15 minutes time frame and this is 5 minutes time. 5 minutes time same already then as did a change of character. You can see that it's kind of more clear on 5 minutes time frame here. Already did a change of character for sale, but you know this is a smaller time frame. It can confirm very quick and all of all be effect out. And this is another thing I think that might happen on on ECH session, then on London session, it might break out because you can see that it's somehow ranging already. So this is what I'm expecting again that might happen on each other session. Then on, on London session, it might take out, then replace and continue buy. Then we'll buy here. Or if you break this low, definitely it will expect it to come back here. Then I will look into buy from here as well. Or if you want to scalp, if you take out this low, then you can scalp from here, from this zone. To this zone know that you are scalping because we're an uptrend but if market choose to change direction on monday it means that this set is going to drop more so that's how i'm going to trade this good on monday guys so let's see how this analysis will play out guys stay safe